I just got a really powerful question from a client asking, how do you clean up limiting beliefs vibrationally? So often we have limiting beliefs. The first step is knowing what those limiting beliefs are. And then how do we actually clean them up vibrationally? So it's very easy to do that in terms of changing our language around it. And maybe we know what the belief is and then we turn it around. And let's say the belief is I have to work really hard and struggle in order to survive. And that's a really heavy belief structure. So then we flip it and we're like, well, the more ease I have in my life, the more prosperous I am, right? And that's a beautiful shift. However, the, my client was asking, how do you change that vibrationally so it's not just lip service, it's like really a change energetically. So oftentimes our parents program these beliefs into our, you know, into our psyche. And so for her, for example, she was never applauded for being, doing something she loved and just feeling joyful and at ease and creating from her heart. But whenever she struggled really hard with something and got through it, she was applauded. So in her mind, she learns that I'll get attention if I do really hard things, but when I'm in the flow or things are easy, no one's going to pay attention. I won't be loved. I'll be alone. <clears throat> so how, how does she change that energetically? So this is an opportunity to reparent yourself for all of us. The little girl, the inner child, however you want to position that in your mind, if you don't believe or like the language inner child, it's really the more vulnerable dimension or the energetic, the subconscious that's holding all of the beliefs that we learned under six years old for the most part. And the way to shift that is we need to reparent that dimension of ourselves that is not logical, it's emotionally based, and these programs, these ideas are so deep in there that we actually need to feel into a different vibration. We need to feel into what we needed from our parents and give that to ourselves. So for this client, for example, her work, so for you, you know, you can do it this way as well, what is, what is the limiting belief that's been holding you back, the core limiting belief? You could do this with many limiting beliefs. I'll never be enough, um, or I have to struggle in order to survive, whatever the belief is, right? You have to know what the belief is, number one. Number two, yes, definitely know what the flip side of that is. What is a more, what is a healthier belief structure that's going to support you in flourishing and thriving in your life? And then the third is to take it to an energetic level and reparent yourself. So this is really giving yourself permission to take action in accordance with the new belief structure, the healthier belief structure. So my client's healthier belief structure is if I have more ease in my life, then I'll be more prosperous. If I do what I love, I'll be more prosperous. So if you just allow that belief structure to take place, then as you reparent yourself, hi mama, um, as you reparent yourself, I'm making a video. <laughs> this is Catalina. Hi, this is my new license plate. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she is my soul sister. Um, so really quickly, last step is you. And in order to do that, you basically applaud yourself. You love yourself. You acknowledge yourself every time for, in her case, any time she has more ease in her life or is doing something that she enjoys. Or for her, she put a boundary with her students. And basically, instead of making it so hard for her and making herself available every day of the week, she put boundaries with her students and is only available three days a week. So there's more ease in her life. So the energetic work is to turn within and say, sweetheart, I'm so proud of you and give yourself the attention. You know, in that moment, I'm so proud of you for choosing ease. Like, great job. I love you. You're amazing. And really feel, keyword, feel is where the energetic shift happens, that you're receiving love and acknowledgement for something that uh, you never did in the past and something that really pushes your new belief structure forward. So I hope that helps you guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you got something from this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for being on this journey with me.